What's up? Wayne Brown here with darkfakes.net and we are inside of Adobe After Effects and uh, what we're going to be doing is this. Uh, it can go a little bit faster, but anyway, this effect right here came from the movie Deja Vu. At the very beginning of it, it sort of has that Deja Vu feel to it where it shows the beginning and then it backs up, shows the beginning again, and then it starts to show the text. And this is the effect that they use for their text right here at the very beginning, right before it starts showing the people. And so this is what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, control N to create a new composition. We're going to call this Deja Vu. I'm going to have it at 8 seconds, 24 frame rate. Click OK. First thing I want to do is add in some text. We're going to do Dark Effects. Let's go ahead and move it down to here. Okay, right click and choose Pre-Compose. And this is going to be our intro title. Okay, now right click on it and choose create shapes from text Duplicate our dark effects to layer and we want to make it so we can see it now click P on position for dark effects outline and we want to move whoops We want to move this all the way over to here Okay, so what we're going to do here is that we're going to come in and we're going to go to our contents and for our each one of our letter we're going to change our position so right there at the very beginning click on position i'm going to come out to about the one and a half drag this over to here that looks good let's make sure let's go ahead and click there i think i just created a text layer did i yep i did Delete the text layer. Okay. So that looks like that's good. So it's 733. So let's go ahead and copy that 733. And for each one of our letters, we're actually going to use the same position for our ending. So let's come over here to uh, each one of these, drop it down, create a start, and then to finish and as you can see it automatically puts our a right there where we needed it so let's go over, come over here let's choose each one of these go ahead and uh, try that again drop it down and then drop them down and it's not going to do it the way i was hoping oh where okay so now with each one of these Create a position and we need to come up here. Let's go ahead and the ones we've already done. Drag it to right there. That way it's right on top of it. And paste that one and paste that one in. That way it creates both of them keyframes. Get rid of that one. Now let's do the next set. Create a position for each one of these. Drag it out to here, and then paste in our 733. And then let's do the same thing with this one. Position, position, drag it out. And then 733 here. Okay, so now let's do position 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 that's going to be the last one let's drag this out to here and paste that in paste that in and paste that in okay so now that right there will give us what there Sort of offset, but we ain't worried about that. But anyway, each one of them are set at 733, and that's where we needed them to be at in order for them to line up perfectly with our uh, original text. Let's go ahead and hide the original text. Okay, so now let's come here. We want to offset our keyframe, so let's go ahead and drop these down, and then let's just play around with our keyframes here. You can move them anywhere you want them at. The 
further away you go, the longer the animation. The closer in you come, the shorter your animation. So just to keep that in mind, whenever you're doing this, that way you know about how long your animation is going to last. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop this down, click here, and go all the way up to the top, click on our content, let's come over here, create, well, let's go ahead and hit zero, create a keyframe for our opacity, drag it over to about right up in here, and then let's hit 28. Okay, so. Okay, so that is our beginning of our text right there. So, let's go ahead and save that. Okay, let's, okay the next thing that we want to do here is let's duplicate our layer right here. We're going to duplicate it twice, so Control D or Command D on the Mac. Okay, let's come over to here. What we want to do is that we want to make our letters, as you can see them right here, we want to make our letters sort of blurred and duplicated. So we come over here, click P on position, and we drag this out just a little bit. As you can see, it's sort of blurred. Drag this one out. Okay. We come out to there. Okay, now we want to bring these two down because we want to end it about up in here okay so now let's uh, choose T for opacity and then we're gonna go ahead and create a keyframe for both of them there double click here and choose zero and double click on this one and choose zero and as you can see here we've got a slight duplication of our letters now you can bring your leather le <laughs> try that again you can bring your letters further apart down here and then you can actually make this look a lot better but for sake of uh, a shorter lesson we're gonna leave it basically like it is right now okay so now let's select all three of these layers let's come over here to our effects and presets and let's type in blur which was already there and we're going to grab a hold of our fast blur and just drop it right there we're going to come over here we're going to create a keyframe we're going to do this at about let's do it at about four we don't want to blur it out too much then we want to drag it out to about up in here and then hit zero So let's uh, go ahead and bring out our effect here. Let's drag that out just a little bit more. Okay, so now let's go ahead and copy this one. Let's paste it into this one and that one. Okay, so now it's going to give us this effect right here. So that's basically what we're after. Okay, so now with that done, let's go back inside of our Deja Vu, grab a hold of our pen tool, and well, let's grab a hold of our hand. Okay. Okay, now grab a hold of our pen tool, and let's just draw a box around our text. So let's click here, hold down Shift, make a straight line, and then we want to duplicate that. So this is going to be left and this is going to be our right okay so now click position p for position and let's go ahead and drag this over to here okay now let's come over and click let's go ahead and put this at 100 so we can actually see it good bring our hand over come back over to our pen tool click and hold shift and click 
I come down and let's go ahead and hit P for position. Let's move that up some. Click on it again, move it up a little bit more. That's great. So that is going to be our top. I'm going to duplicate this one, and this is going to be our bottom. So we bring open our position, and then we drag it down bottom, and that is absolutely perfect. Okay, so now the first thing that we want to do here is with our right. So let's go ahead and drag our right up here. So it's going to be our right, our bottom, our left, and our top in that sequence. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's do a position here. So we'll drag that to there. Then we're going to move this out to here. Let's drag it out. Yep, that looks good. Okay, now we want to go in and let's set position for each one of these here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into our opacity, hit the T. And what we want to do is we want to uh, choose zero for each one of these. And then create keyframe. Move it out to here. And then let's choose 75. That's what we want to put on each one of these. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to move each one of these out to correspond with the way that it's going to come on, like so. So it actually draws the box on there. Okay, so now we got that done. Go ahead and save our work. Let's go ahead and bring all that down. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go ahead and right click on this. Choose free compose and this is our box. Click OK. Now let's come back inside of our deja vu and we want to go out. Selection tool. Well, let's go to our hand. Come down a little bit. Okay, now with our selection tool selected, let's go ahead and choose our, let's go ahead and choose both of them actually. And we want to, oops, let's come over here after it stops. Now let's create another keyframe. Drag it up to here. <clears throat> now let's go over to there and let's go up okay let's oops let's go ahead and drag this out so that it, it takes a little bit more time that looks good so now let's go into our intro text and we want to be a about up in here <clears throat> and we want to drag our blue to there and then we want to take our dark effects 2 to here we want to change this to Wayne we come over here and then with our oops our text tool type in Wayne or your name actually okay so now with that selected let's come over here and drop it down and let's go to our animate and let's go to character offset okay now we're going to create a keyframe here we're going to change this to 50 then we're going to drag this out to here let's see how far we're going So, right there, we want to stop at 303. So, we're going to stop right there at 303, and we're going to set this at 0. So, then we come back to our deja vu, and then it does like so. 
Okay, so now with our box, let's choose our box and we want to choose the size of our box. Let's come down to here and we want to create a keyframe for our scale. Then we're going to come over to here. Then we want to start making it smaller. And then our position to move that over to here and then drag it down to there and then there you go so that right there is our effect then it goes up to there wasn't quite as long as the eight the eight seconds but you get the gist of it this is what we're creating Alright, this is Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net. I hope y'all enjoyed this lesson and I hope it was fast enough. So anyway, y'all have a rocking week. It's My son just told me it's supposed to snow here. And to be honest with you, I don't want it to snow. However, it is cold. We got our snow last week. So if we wake up tomorrow morning and it's a lot of powder on the ground, I don't know if I'm going to be happy or mad. But anyway, y'all have a rocking weekend. Stay warm wherever you're at or stay cool if you're in a hot place. Alright, bye-bye now.